morning. Good morning. This goofy guy, he comes to greet me every morning. I'm so excited. It's like 50 degrees outside, so it feels amazing to the polar bear. It is definitely wear jacket weather in the mornings. It's still like in the high 70s, low 80s in the afternoons. So it's really nice, warm, but not hot, which is amazing. Good morning, Daisy. It's popping her head over. We have started having to use some feed to get the boys in at night. I think Padme was in heat yesterday. Yeah. Goodness. Mom's a little bit late. Yes, Chai Chai's excited. So let's get breakfast going. <laughs> Nani's just spoiled. They're all spoiled rotten. Well, I know that the bowls are not up at the fence today because getting them in last night, I gave them a little bit of grain because I couldn't get bean to go in. They were all over me. I could not get away from them, so I couldn't put the bowls back. I'll have to walk through. They were, I got to remember to start closing this gate, at least partially behind me because the dog has a couple of mornings in a row chased me through here like she's playing there's been different things deer and cats and things to bark at <laughs> Wild. yes you are goodness come on everybody a little extra spicy they are They're just a little extra ornery it feels really good I will take a little orneriness we will start breeding as of next week anybody goes into heat it does look like Zelda Padme will be on the back end so home this afternoon I'll tell you who we're gonna breed in with who or at least who I think one less buck this year so less choices are always my two standing at the edge of the barn door yes mother and daughter yes is this your mama so just my mama it's a good patty hi twizzy mom don't have any food
are. Quiz. Yes. Probably in heat. All right, I'll see you girls when I get home. It has been the longest week ever. It needs to end. Let's see what our friends are doing. It's like in the mid 70s. It's not like cool. It's not hot. It's kind of in that lovely middle of the road. I'm ready to take a nap. I had Mexican food for lunch. And I wanted to let you guys know that the headband website should be live as you're watching this video. It is called cjknits.com. I'll link it in the description and I will show it to you at the end of the video what it looks like, order and all of those things. But first, we're gonna go see our girls, talk about who we're gonna breed and who we're gonna breed them to because as of basically this weekend, the next girl that goes into heat, we should be able to breed. I may push it out one more week it just kind of depends because you do that first week in October, you get last week in February babies. And I would kind of rather have them that first week in March. So, hello. We will see. Usually, if they go into heat that first week in October, I go ahead and get them bred because it's just easier to do that. Hello. Hello, my pumpkins. Hello, big boy. Uh. We ran away for a mom. Hello, queen. Oh, my days ago. Hello. I know. Let's go this way. Come on. If I walk out more of this direction, will you come? Come on. Come on, honey. Come on, Patty. Come on, Tinkerbell. What ends up happening is they are on this for about a week and then this will grow in just enough for them to eat it. But I think we're done with grass growth, to be honest. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're getting any more grass. I don't think we're getting any more grass. No, Queen Daisy, I think this is what you're gonna have until next season. Cause we're not gonna have any more rain. And by the time probably there's more rain, there's not gonna be enough sun. I know. See, that really stinks, Mom. Come on, Ans. Yes, come on. She's like, I don't really want to. For those of you who are maybe new and don't really know which goats are available to breed and for what reasons, Zelda, Padme, uh, it's shady. Yes, Nani. Hi, Nani Bear. Nani. Twizzler. These are this little friend, Pixie, Poppy is our little spotted girl, and then Bunny are all white doe. So those are our seven girls that are our breeders. Daisy uh, doesn't breed. We tried last year. I even left her in with the bucks. She just has some hormone issues. Uh, we've done a whole video on Daisy's story. Daisy's a Nubian. She has bred once. She almost died with that pregnancy and she has never cycled since then. And I put her in with a buck last year because everybody always wants Daisy babies. It's just not gonna happen, guys. She just can't get pregnant. That's what basically that told me. She's just not able to get pregnant anymore. Yeah, she's not. So we've talked about, I had to make a decision about what age I was gonna cut the girls off. Typically nine or 10, when you're getting to be nine and 10, that's kind of their either end of their breeding life for most goats. All of our goats will be eight having babies next year. So to retire somebody this year, I'm sorry. Daisy. You're making a lot of racket. I do not care, Mom. My head is itchy. I'm itchy, 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 okay. So to retire anybody this year would be about a year early on our schedule to really consider retirement. In the last two years, we've had a lot of dystocia. We've had some girls just really have some issues. 
So I am going to confirm we are going to retire Bunny for sure. Bunny has had two very rough pregnancies, had triplets, lost one of the triplets, had really bad dystocia, had to pull the buckling. No, she had triplets. One was stillborn. One died after she had it, like a couple of days later. It was not fully developed and then it's a bad situation. And so she only raised one. This year she had half her udder have an injury. We're not gonna breed her. She's done two years worth of issues. We're not gonna do it. It is not worth the stress. So we have three girls that will turn eight. It's her, Zelda, Twizzler. Zelda has only had about half the amount of pregnancies that Bunny and Twiz have had. She did have a, dist a couple of this a dystocia last year, nothing terrible. Babies just came breech. She didn't really have any issues. Just a little tug and they came. I think I'm going to go ahead and breed her again if we can catch her heat cycle. She's very tricky and very hard to breed because she just has silent heats. Every time we've caught her heat, she's gotten pregnant. I put her in with a buck for a month, she got pregnant. It's never been really a big issue as far as like, you can get her bred. She tends to have like a false heat and then a active heat. So she's just a little bit trickier to catch because of those. She's not super loud. If you want to know that little nugget just jumped on my butt. We are going to breed her for sure. Am I going to bring breed Twiz? I haven't really decided. So Twiz has never had an issue birthing babies ever. She's always had healthy kids, easy pregnancies, and has been a great mom and has never had any issues kidding. I probably can get away with at least one more year with her. What I noticed this year was her body really struggled to recover after having babies and she only had one baby. Just that like, as far as like minerals and her coat, she really struggled. She and Pixie kind of, it was like we couldn't get enough copper in them, but never really had worm issues, never really had issues kidding. So we may go one more year with her. Bunny is definitely off the table, but I think these two, we're gonna go one more year just because they've never really had major issues and they're very healthy. They're also very bossy goat. The reason that I really consider number one's recovery for Twiz, Twiz also has like totally lost her mind her last two pregnancies. Like headbutting, everyone just crazy. And so just the combo of those two things has me hesitant. She doesn't have real strong heats this year. We may just let it go. We're just gonna kind of let her guide us a little bit. We will still breed all of the other eligible girls for breeding. So Pixie is only five years old. Nani is six. Poppy is four. Patty's, Patty's three. Patty and Tink are three. So we will breed all of them. We do not breed Tink because Tink is too small. And I've had lots of people, oh, you should try, you should find a small buck. Tink is tiny. It's just very, very hard to tell on camera how small she actually is. She is way too small to breed. If she ever accidentally got bred, we would definitely um, get her a shot to make sure that those babies, you know, didn't become fully a full pregnancy because it would kill her. Like she is way too tiny. She will never have babies and she will always live on our farm so that we can ensure no one ever tries to breed her. It is just a safety issue for her and that's not what's best for her. I'm gonna do a community post. Hopefully you guys saw that um, or a reel or a short or something tonight announcing the launch of those headbands it's tomorrow. So like I'm gonna film it tonight to go live tomorrow. Hopefully that will be up so that you see it and you know I wanted to kind of do, I wanted to have the release before the end of September, and so that's tomorrow, and I wanted to do it on a Friday, not a Saturday, but I also want you guys to know first, so that's why I'm gonna do like a community post or a community post and a re, uh, short so that you have the opportunity to see that. I think they just like the shade right now. Okay, so just real quick, I wanted to show you the website. So this is what it looks like. Uh, you can see cjnets.com. This is what the front page is gonna look like. So you can scroll down and you can see some of the headbands. You can view all. So this is what the front page looks like. Um, so you can either click view all and see, so this is the full page. 
each one or you can just go to catalog it's the same page basically and see and so then you could click on one of the headbands and it will pull up a page like this so you can see photos of each one and a description we accept all kind of forms of payment we are only shipping in the u.s right now for this particular collection those are the forms of payment that are accepted so for this particular collection it will only be u.s residents because i haven't quite figured out international shipping yet we'll get there eventually just not for this first one so i'm sorry also customs and all of that so there you go if you want to check them out what are you doing?